if you're actually uh, trying to install an ARB bull bar bumper for a 2006 Tacoma or somewhere close to there this video video will be applicable for um, any of the Tacomas in this generation so ARB Bull Bar 2006 Toyota Tacoma Okay, we're gonna take off this support bar right there and you're gonna need uh, 14 millimeter deep socket and a bigger um, ratchet. If you have a a brake bar, that'd probably be best to get them started. Yeah? Did you get it? I got it. Okay, according to our directions here, it's recommended that you paint satin black under the guard line, which is that right there. I do have some black spray paint, but because this is so dark blue, so our next step is to fit the bracket mounting assembly to the front of the vehicle. So basically what I just took off Putting on what came six ten millimeters. I don't have a winch at this point. Okay, gotta take some more bolt out. They didn't say I gotta take more bolt out. Okay, so there are two more, and they're size seventeen, right here on the bottom on each side. Okay, so I finally got it on. Problem was, these tabs at the bottom here, they were angled back too far. Dead blow and bent them down a little bit. Slid right on, there you go. There's six bolts that come out the front and the two on the outside, on each side, so four total, you use the original nut that was already on the vehicle. There's two bolts that are on the inside here and you use just a flat washer, a locking washer, and a, and a nut that comes in the bumper kit. Those are 14 millimeter, and then the two on the bottom, 17 millimeter, and torque them to spec. This should have the torque specs. You might not have a torque wrench, so just guess. I mean, what else are you gonna do if you don't have a torque wrench? Luckily, we have a torque wrench. Four bolts that come with the kit. Fine thread. I'm not sure if it's gonna focus that. Bolt sizes do not match what is actually in the kit. A little confused. It says to use 12 millimeter bolts. So we put those three bolts in down here. These bolts from the kit to go in here as well as from the bottom. But the picture of the bottom doesn't match the bottom of my truck. Box tubing is closed and there's a nut that's welded in there. So I'm not gonna be able to put in a nut on the picture. Mm -hmm. It shows like an open back mm -hmm. that you can stick your fingers in and, um, and put the nut in there. So what I did is I just used the original hardware for the bottom bolts right here, fine thread. And there were only four bolts that were the right size that had fine thread. And so um, two of them, one goes here, one goes on the other side, and then the other two are supposed to be used from the bottom, um, but I'm not gonna use them 
for the bottom, I just used the original hardware. The wrench back there wedged in that's holding the nut. And I can't fit the torque wrench in here because it's too tight, hand tight as I can get it. And that'll probably be good. Hope you guys are enjoying this so far. I've been having fun putting together. It's kind of like a puzzle. I'm, I'm assuming if you're watching this video and you're installing this yourself that you are somewhat mechanically minded and um, will have the wherewithal to uh, troubleshoot when things go awry. So let's move on to what's next. Okay, the last part of this section before we get to the bumper are the tensioning brackets. This is what they look like and you can see that they are different. So one goes to the right side and one goes to the left side. And um, if you got this kit, I'm assuming you got the instructions. So it gives you a picture of how they go on. Um, mine were scratched a little bit right here and right there. And the metal was exposed. So I just put a little bit of spray paint on them to cover that up, try to prevent it from rusting on me. Okay, so this is what you'll need. There's a bunch of the bolts that come with the washer and the locking washer already on them. So you use two of those, four more washers and the bolts, and then the back, this longer four inch. And once you get it on, tighten up your front bolts first, and then tighten up your back bolt. Wheel well fender, use this hole to bend it up, zip tie it up here. And look who just showed up! It's my brother, Jake! Both sides tied up. Just zip tied it right here. I drilled a hole in the wheel well fender, pushed it through that hole right there, cutting off the... Well, what's next, Mr. Emmanuel? Foot M10 cage nuts. Over here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need four of these little guys now. Two to each side of the bottom of the bow bar. That's the top. You just stick one there, one there, one there, one there for the splash pan. <laughs> Next step is to place the bumper onto the truck and secure it with these three holes right here. Those go into the cage bolts that we already put into the bumper and we'll be using these six bolts. We're almost there. <laughs> Putting the bolts in, get it to hold it there. Then next I'll adjust it and then tighten it up. This gap, 15 to 20 millimeters level with the fender. While holding that in place, tighten those three, hold the bumper in place. Other side, same thing. Obviously, I want both of them to match. And so I should probably get this side good and get the other side good at the same time and then tighten the bolt. So I need somebody's help. I'll be back shortly. Ready, go. Okay, we're back at it. What do you think so far? Looks awesome. Okay, so using that jack, we were able to tighten all the bolts right where we want it, level. Inside here, there are two extra holes. Metric 10 uh, drill bit. Drill through two holes, two more bolts through them.
Okay, so we have all five bolts on each side. Now we're gonna put these plastic pieces back underneath the headlights. Hook that outside piece in first, just push it in, and then snap the cap in. Yay. Put the, the grill back in. Opposite is when you took it off. And the bumper is officially assembled. The fog light kit. You can order this bumper without the fog light kit hole there, but cheaper because I had fog lights on my original bumper, so I just want to use the wiring. Have to buy the ARB fog light kit. You could try using other fog lights, but um, from the reviews I found and other uh, videos, it's just best if you ARB fog light kit. It's gonna be perfect. This is what comes with the bumper. And then this is that fog light kit. See, you have to cut, there's four little tabs. Some sandpaper and sand down those little tabs. You just fit these tabs into these holes. And then make sure that these tabs here are down where these holes are. My right, spring's gonna sit right in here. Spring. And up into that spot right there. And then your white wire here. If you're not familiar with doing electrical, someone that is, otherwise uh, you should be able to figure these out. It's pretty basic. When you attach the blinkers, it is also attaching this mounting kit. So slide right in, just like that. And there's a number of screws that you screw in from the back. And the instructions are pretty clear. And then use your signal. Okay, the last step is to fit this splash pan up underneath the bowl bar from the inside like that. Okay, so you just bolt the splash pan up underneath here. There's eight bolts. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, hopefully it was helpful if you're actually uh, trying to install an ARB bull bar bumper for a 2006 Tacoma or somewhere close to there. Give me a thumbs up uh, if this video was helpful for you. Um, also subscribe to our channel. We do lots of different videos from how-to videos like this to just really fun videos of our life here on the ranch. Um, we live kind of out in the middle of nowhere and we drive two hours maybe once a month to get our groceries and um, we just live in an amazing place um, but there's not a lot of people out here and not a ton of people get to see what our life is like throughout the whole year so uh, subscribe and continue to watch our videos and you'll get to know us some more uh, my name is Cody we have lots of friends and it's all a big family so Make sure you hit subscribe, join the family. Uh, love you guys, and we'll talk to you later. <laughs> oh, one, two, three, shoot.